Okay, it was time for me to upgrade my smartphone. I've got a Galaxy S9 Plus here. And the most important thing to me on a smartphone are the cameras. I'm all about the cameras, especially the video quality. And after doing a lot of research, I was sort of waiting on this S20 Ultra to come out. That's what I had my heart set on. I was going to get that one. But it's about to come out next week, but it's already people, reviewers on YouTube have gotten it and have shown side-by-side -side comparisons with other smartphone cameras. And I'm not impressed. So I've watched hundreds of videos on YouTube comparing cameras, stills, and video. And the one I prefer the most is the Apple iPhone Pro Max, iPhone 11. And the thing is, I'm not an Apple person. I'm a Samsung person. I really can't stand Apple. I've never liked Apple, even since their inception, even back in the 80s. People that got Apple computers or Apple stuff were always snobby type people, people that felt like they needed to fit into a club to belong. Their stuff was always overpriced and they used all this pro proprietary cables and crap. So I've never liked Apple. Never owned anything Apple. This is my first Apple product. So, anyway, um, first thing, okay, so I got this new phone. And the first thing I noticed right away, right out of the box, was the screen. It felt like it was plastic. I looked, I googled it, I looked online for other people complaining about this and I couldn't find anything. But if you tap on it, it feels like plastic. Hear that? That's the apple. Feels almost hollow and the Galaxy. This feels like real glass. This feels like plastic. Matter of fact, I actually thought I got a, a fake phone. I got scammed, but there was this girl at work that had the exact same phone and I tested, I tapped on hers and it sounded just like mine. So that made me feel better that it was a legit phone. Uh, let's see. One thing I wanted to mention that Apple does do right is the size of their phones. Perfect size. Actually, the S9 Plus is a perfect size too. But Samsung's getting out of control with the size of their phones, like this S20 that's about to come out, S20 Ultra. It's just, and then even the Note 10 Plus, it's, it's huge. It's too big. Once you put a case on it, it's hard to fit in your pocket. That Samsung's forgetting that these phones need to fit in your pocket. Most guys, like that I know, they keep their phone in their pocket, front pocket, all day long. You don't want some big ass phone up in there. I mean, if it's if you need something that big, just get an iPad, or not a, not necessarily an iPad. A what? A, what do you call it? A tablet. You know, get a tablet. I mean. You don't, you don't want a phone to be too big. You don't want it too small either, but these are both very good sizes. That's about the size I like them. But, uh, let's see what else. The next thing I was happy about when switching to this iPhone was that the iOS operating system, it really isn't that much different from Android. It only took me about an hour to get oriented with it. And, you know, most of the features and are about the same. There's a few features and differences here and there, but it's, it's really not much different from Android, which is a good thing. Um, one thing that did blow me away with the iPhone was the inability to close applications all at once. So you've got 10, 15 applications open with 
the Android, you just, there's a close all button. You just can close them all with the touch of a button. And you can't do that with the iPhone. You have to close each one of them individually, which is a little annoying. Um, I find it annoying on the iPhone to, to shut the phone down. You have to press two buttons, the power button and the volume, and hold it for a few seconds. And then it comes up and you slide it to cut it off. I, I like the Galaxy better where you just hold it for a few seconds, just the one button. It comes up and you cut it off like that. I will say the camera app interface is more intuitive and better on the iPhone, which is a plus. That's a good thing because that's what I mainly bought it for. Um, but here's where I really got irritated when I was plugging up and playing with this Apple phone. Uh, you can't, okay, it, came, it comes with this lightning cable thing, which I've never even heard of really. And it comes with this, you can't just plug it into your PC to download files, you know, pictures, music, photographs. No, this, this won't fit in a basic USB-A type connection on a PC. This is USB-C. So you have to go out and buy, after you paid all this money for this phone, you got to go out and buy something like this, a converter, either a whole different cable or a little converter thing so you can plug it into it like that. And now you can plug it into your computer to transfer stuff. And that's a bunch of bull crap because I mean, if you're paying all this money for this phone, you, they could have thrown that in the box. This costs, I got, if it's a pack of two for $10 on Amazon, so one's like five dollars to the cost for them to put that in the box probably about a dollar so why can't why can't they do that you know moving on another thing i started missing was the notification light and the always on display which apple doesn't have but i am dealing with it um also to me, the iPhone's interface doesn't have quite a sophisticated look to it as the iPhone's. It's even right when you turn it on in the very beginning, it's got that goofy wallpaper and it's just got more of a childlike or teenager type of look to it. You know, and then you get into the text messaging, iMessage, and it's got all this goofy animation stuff that I'll never use, but it just seems like it's just the look of it. A lot of the, just the interface just mm, seems like it's just more geared toward kids. I don't know. That's just my opinion. One, now one thing uh, that actually didn't bother me that I thought would is the, the notch. This little notch thing up here. It didn't bother me at all. I got used to that real quick. No problem. Uh, the Apple phone has a dedicated mute hardware switch on it right here. You see that? You can just switch it one way or the other and it automatically mutes the phone, which is, you know, I could take it or leave it. It's sort of unnecessary, but oh well, it's there if you want it. Um, now to get to the home screen, that's a little bit interesting on the iPhone. You gotta swipe up instead of having a dedicated button. I prefer the, the Galaxy to the iPhone on that, but it's not that big a deal. Um, now one thing, now like I said, here's another big thing. When I plugged this phone up to transfer videos and pictures, first time I did it, nothing came up. It was, you go into the Windows operating system or the File Explorer and you bring up the Apple device and in the folders there's nothing, nothing's showing up. So I played around with it some, somehow I got it working. I, I think I, I downloaded iCloud, iCloud Photos and iTunes, installed them all on my computer and after I did all that, 
then it started working. I still can't see music like like you can on a Galaxy phone or a, uh, Android. You just plug it up to your computer and you can see everything in all the folders. It's all there and you can just drag and drop it anywhere. I like that. The Apple tries to hide stuff from you. So you can't even see the music unless you're using their stupid little iTunes program. Um, and then, uh, like I say, it started working after I did the iCloud and the iCloud photos. Then I could drag and drop the photos and video. but. It's a little bit more cumbersome, at least for now. Well, maybe I want, once I get used to it, or maybe I'm missing something here, but it's not like the Android. You just plug and play. Just plug it in, simple. Plug it in, everything's there. You can see everything, drag and drop. It's a little bit more to it than that. Uh, okay, let's see. So, the bottom line, to summarize, if you're on the fence like I was about, say you thinking about switching over to iPhone for the camera system, but you're worried about the iOS interface, I can tell you, don't worry about it. It's nothing to be worried about. It'll just take you a day or so to, to get used to it. It's not really that much different and it's worth switching over uh, if you really want the better camera system. So, I may be a, an Apple user from here on out. We'll see. I'm, I'm always going to go for the, well, I used to would never even consider Apple, but now I've crossed over to the dark side. And I will buy an Apple phone if the cameras, at the time I'm ready to upgrade my phone, if Apple's got the better camera system, I get it. Otherwise, I'll go back to my Samsung Galaxies. So that concludes this opinionated video on what I think.